Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you where the fuses are located and how to check and replace them on a 2014 Toyota Corolla. This car has two fuse boxes, one is inside the car and one is under the hood. I'll show you the one inside the car first. It's located on the driver's side, under the dashboard on the left side. The fuse diagram is printed on the lid and to remove the lid, just pull down on the tab. If you need to remove a fuse, you can use the fuse puller from the box that's under the hood. I'll show you how to use it later in the video. To reinstall the lid, line up the clips on the side and press it down to lock it in. There are two more fuses under the left side of the dashboard. I'll have a video linked up in the cards showing how to find these fuses. So that's it for the interior fuses. I'll show you the box under the hood now. It's located close to the battery on the driver's side. To open it, press the tab down and lift the lid up and the fuse diagram is on the back of the lid. Let's check some fuses now. First, make sure the engine and accessories are turned off and to check cartridge fuses, just look through the top cover. A good fuse will have a shiny continuous wire strip running through the middle while one that is blown will have a gap in the strip and sometimes the remaining strip will turn color to brown or black. To check blade fuses is not as simple because they have to be removed first, so I'll use the puller tool included in this box. I'll place it over the fuse and squeeze the prongs closed, then pull up. Now check the middle of the fuse. If it's still good, it will have a continuous strip running through the middle, and if it's blown, there will be a gap or the strip may be missing entirely. If you're not sure whether a fuse is still good or not, a multimeter can be used to double check it. Start by setting it to diode testing mode, indicated by the diode symbol, and the musical note or speaker symbol next to it means that the meter will also emit a beep when it's in this mode. Next, make sure the negative lead is inserted in the COM socket, and the positive is inserted in the socket labeled with the ohm symbol. And now touch the leads to both posts on the fuse. And if the meter beeps and displays a value close to zero, then the fuse is good. Let's try it on a blown fuse. And this time there is no beep and the display didn't change. In some cases it may seem like the fuse is blown, but the leads are just not connected properly to the meter. So make sure to check the meter by touching the leads and that should make it beep and display a value close to zero. If a fuse needs to be replaced, make sure to replace it with a new fuse of the same type and the appropriate amperage rating. All automotive fuses will have their amperage rating printed on the top of the fuse and the appropriate amperage rating for each fuse location can be found on the diagram that's on the lid of the box. Make sure to never replace a fuse with a higher amperage fuse than that indicated on the lid. Using a higher amperage can cause component damage or even a fire. So let's assume that the fuse I removed earlier was blown. I'll start by looking it up on the diagram. Make sure the lid is oriented to match the components in the fuse box. And I'll be looking for two 10 amp fuses, an empty slot, and the fuse I removed. So I found the spot that matches on the diagram. The fuse I removed is MIRHTR for the mirror heater. It's labeled with 10A for 10 amps, so only a 10 amp fuse should be used to replace it. When checking the diagram, be careful to match the proper location and note that the amperage is sometimes above the description and sometimes below. Once the proper amperage is found, check the spares in the box to see if any match. There are four spares in the box. They're labeled as spare on the diagram and one of them is a 10 amp. So I can take this one out and use it to replace my 10 amp mirror heater fuse. To install a fuse, just slide it in the slot and give it a firm push down. If the fuse blows again shortly after being reinstalled, that means there is a problem with the electrical circuit, so the car will have to be taken in for repair. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me create more videos and consider subscribing. I'll be posting more car and other repair videos in the future. Thanks for watching.